So hello guys, uh, welcome to another STM32 tutorial. My name is Edison and today I'll be showing you how to use STM32 uh, USB device class uh, and uh, what I'll be implementing is the USB communication device class. That is we use the device as a virtual com port whereby we can be able to uh, achieve communication between the PC and also the board. And I'll also send some commands from the PC and request some uh, several data from uh, the STM32 through USB communication. So I'm going to uh, new uh, STM32 project. I'm going to select the board that I'm using which is nuclear F446RE and uh, when I select that board you click the board and click next and I'm going to call this USB uh, CDC uh, virtual com port so that is VCP so then you click finish then you can initialize or not And then uh, from here you can see the pinout and configuration and the first thing that I'm going to do is clear all the pinouts. And then from there go to system call and in the RCC I'm going to enable the ceramic uh, resonators. And also have to go to connectivity and down uh, scroll down you find this USB OTG full speed. So I'm going to select the device only and uh, from there I'll uh, just go to middleware and then click on the USB device and the class for full speed IP I'll select uh, this class which is communication device virtual port so then click that and then you can edit the uh, product string you can call this uh, maybe you can call this stm4 stm maybe Edison ST Edison STM and then can click OK and then we can configure this uh, PA5 which is connected to a green LED on the board and uh, this might become handy in our project so just call it LED and then uh, from there just go to core configuration you can see that there's a warning here and do you want to run out of uh, Mate clock issue solver? Then um, I, ju I just select uh, yes, and you can see that uh, we have these. Uh, we can uh, select the external uh, clock, and then you can set this to 168 megahertz. And then we expect that the uh, frequency to the USB is 48 megahertz. So this frequency uh, is the one that is used for USB communication. So then from there, you just go to uh, device configuration tool code generation. So just click on that. And now we wait on um, the code to be generated from the cube perspective. And then from here you find the USB device and uh, int up you find this file the USB D CDC if dot C so just go ahead and open that file and you can see that we have uh, several functions in these and uh, the most important we have this uh, line coding structure that we are supposed to set so you can see that it has seven uh, bits that is four five six and seven so we need to set the line coding and uh, for us to do that we can uh, just have uh, a buffer here so we can have u int uh, 8 let's go t buffer you can call it the way you want and uh, should have seven elements and then we come here to the CDC set line coding and then we have uh, a first buffer, buffer zero and uh, then we put this to this P buffer 
and uh, I can say that the pbuffer is the buffer containing command data. So these are the request. So we can have a pbuffer, then we can have this zero, and then we're going to copy and paste this seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, then last day we have seven, and then we're going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six and also this one one two three four five six and then uh, from there we need also to configure this the get line coding so we're going to start now with p buffer zero and have this so just exchanging so then you have that and then i'm just going to copy this seven times so three four five six and seven and then just go one two three four five uh, sorry about that this is five and six and then we come here we set one two three four five and six so uh, from there we have the CDC receive uh, uh, for speed and uh, you can see that uh, this has two parameters the buffer and the length so when you send some data through the USB communication this is the function that is called and uh, we need to uh, have uh, several things so that we can make application um, a bit interactive and uh, nice so I'll declare uh, several variables in the main function and I'm going to have a character type that is a USB USB D character and then I can also have int flag variable flag equals zero and then uh, I need to declare this as extern in our USB D C D C so we come to the private variables definition uh, here and then we have to add the extern keyword so extern because it is declared in the uh, it is declared elsewhere in the program that is in the main file so we have extern so after that i need to uh, have this so you find that in the USB CDC receive. So I will have this equals the character, and uh, we're going to assign. Sorry about that. We're going to assign this to the first buffer. So you can have for the add the first character. Uh, that and then from there we need to set the flag. So when we receive something, we need to set the flag to one. So then uh, having done that, now we go to the main file and uh, what we need to include here is the usbd cdc if.h. So hash include uh, usb usb uh, usbd cdc uh, if.h. Then again, we need uh, the string dot h. So we're going to include a string dot h that will help us in the string manipulation. And also, we need um, the stdio dot h. And then now, having done that, we shall go to the main uh, function, and uh, we need to put a running application here. So this is the while loop and we need to test so if flag is equals uh, is equals to one then i'm going to do something here so uh we're going to switch you let us use the switch case and uh, we are going to switch uh, usb the character and uh, in the switch case we are going to send several uh, commands using the uh, pc and we are going to set characters so i'm going to send one now case one what do we need 
So for case one, when we send one uh, using our PC to our board, we need to receive something back from the board. So we can use CDC uh, transmit. And uh, this is the buffer that we need to transmit back to the PC. So uh, maybe I can have uh, also several buffers here. So character buffer. And I'm going to have buffer one. I need to have three buffers. And then uh, we can have buffer one to be um, you sent one, you sent one, get one back. So then, so just uh, apply some formatting here and a new line so there's actually a character so we just have to copy and paste this three times and then you can have two here three and uh, you send two get your two back and then you send three get your three back So this is the data that we shall get when we send a command. So we shall have switch case one, CDC, we need to send buffer one. Buffer one, and uh, we need to know the length, so string length, so string length of buffer one. So we need buffer one. And then we're going to have a break. And then for case two, uh, let's have cdc transmit and uh, we have now buffer two uh, now buffer two and then we need to have the string length uh, string length of buffer two and then let's have that and then let's add a break and now we need to send another three so three and then cdc transmit and we have buffer three and then we have our length that is the string length of uh, buffer three and then we add a brick so then we can have the last case, which is for, so this one is for blinking the LED, or toggling the LED. And uh, we can just have a uh, uh, GPIO toggle pin, and uh, this is LED uh, GPIO port, and then LED uh, pin. And then after doing that, we need to reset our flag variable to zero. So flag equals zero so that we can wait for some other data to process. So I'm going to build this function and see whether we have any errors. So actually it says that we have uh, how many errors. So let's see. So, hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. For this, let us first get, get rid of this by including a U88 pointer. And uh, then uh, we can have this copy it there and here and uh, yep and also for the flag that's okay uh, then we need to check whether we initialized well here extern flag you don't have to initialize an extern variable so now we build the code and see whether we have any errors so we have no errors and then we are going to run the code to our board so Let's uh, run this.
and uh, well that's okay so how you connect your board uh, you can see that uh, we have this pin I have this pin out for my board and I can see that PA12 uh, is here and uh, you can just compare this with the pin out here you can see that the PA12 is the OTG full speed uh, data plus now for the data plus how you know the data plus using the USB cable you can see that I have this cable and we have we usually have four wires one red one black that is uh, for VCC and ground respectively and then from there we have the green so the green one is the data plus and also the minus one is also the uh, data minus so that's why I have the green one connected to PA12 and also the white one connected to PA11 for data miners. So having done this, you can see the other end of the cable. I'm just going to connect this to my PC. So uh, let's go ahead and connect this. And I'm going to reset this. And uh, I can go to, uh, I can start my serial debug. And then we can have this. And I'm going to check which port is connected to our, you can see that now we have our COM9, which is the USB serial device. So I'm going to have that and open the serial port. So what happens is that uh, when I send one, Let's see what happens. You can see that you sent one, get your one back. When I send two, you sent two, get your two back. When I send three, you sent three, get three back. And now when I send four, just notice what will happen to this LED. Whereby the command is that when you send four, you toggle the green LED on the board. So I'm going to send four and tell her we have this board so we have this green led on the board going on when i said again it goes off so that is how you can use your uh, stm that to uh in usb uh as usb communication device that is as virtual comport you can still do a lot more uh, with this uh, whereby you can have uh, your you're measuring your ADC values then you're measuring your any other values from I2C peripherals and when you send the command using the um, serial uh, any serial uh, terminal uh, software you get the specific data that you are asking for so I uh, thank you guys for being with me and uh, if you have any question kindly leave it in the comment section and also uh, don't forget to like share or even subscribe so in the next tutorial i'll show you how you can use uh, how you can implement stm that to hid class that is uh, still in the usb and i'm going to use this board as a keyboard an external keyboard to my pc so thank you and bye